Nigel Farage is in talks to join a far-right group in the EU parliament. Asked why the group would bother adding a party that clearly intends to exit, the group joined the rest of the EU in saying, <laughs> they're never exiting. <laughs> United States of Europe making fun of the EU the American way. British voters used the EU parliamentary elections to send a message to Brussels. The message being, you should no longer let people like us vote in your elections. Of course, Britain was meant to be out of the EU by now, but they stuck around for a few more months to show up in record numbers to vote for an EU parliament they don't want to be part of. In voting to change their share of EU parliament seats from 2014 to 2019, they've essentially voted to rearrange the deck chairs on their own Titanic. And now it's time for the top 10 jokes from around the internet on the EU elections in the UK. Starting with number 10. Nigel Farage did very well at polling stations for the EU election, despite the clear labels stating no nuts in this area. At least Nigel didn't get a milkshake thrown at him this time, unlike this poor old pensioner. In fact, the Brexit party plans to avoid any further milkshake incidents with their new protective uniform. At number 9. Let's face the fact, the Brexit party got by far the most votes for EU Parliament, more than 5.2 million, although the petition to revoke Brexit has over 6 million. And if you'd add up the anti-Brexit parties, they actually got more votes than the Brexit party and UKIP. Which is to say, if you add together Lib Dems, Greens, Labour, SMP, etc., you get a bunch of twats who can't accept they lost a vote again. I don't agree with that joke. But it's a good joke. And speaking of losing again, the Labour Party has signaled a U-turn. Now they do want a second referendum. According to half of Labour, people like you make me want to join the EU again. To review, the blue bits say they want to leave the EU, the yellow bits say they want to leave the UK, and Montgomery Burns says, Excellent. Six. In all, the Brexit Party had the best campaign, with their slogan, Same shit, different bus. Five. Different bus referring to this bus, which was such a lie that Boris Johnson is now being taken to court. And such a lie, it was the inspiration for Boris's new campaign vehicle, a truckload of lies. Four. Good news that both teams in the Champions League final are from the UK. Last night Barcelona, tonight Ajax. Johnny Foreigner was shown a bloody nose. Rule Britannia. Gee, enjoy that while it lasts. Three. In fact, maybe it's tweets like that one that caused the UK to score so low at Eurovision. Next year, the voting will just say, UK voters may not vote. You've shown you can't be trusted. Two. But for now, the headlines go to the state visit of President Trump and his adult children, generating the warning Americans in the UK advised to keep a low profile during Trump's visit. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Is this low enough? And MSNBC... What's with the weird choice of photo with the upside-down feet? Spoiler alert, we just got a preview of the new monsters from Stranger Things Season 3. And at number one, for everyone in Europe who voted far-right, climate-denying parties into Parliament, congratulations, you can comfort yourselves. Sure glad the hole isn't at our end. Congratulations, you're one of the few people who watches to the end of a video. If you want to subscribe, it would make a huge difference. Or if you hate my stupid face, please let me know in the comments below.